And we're back because the good old internet bounced me out. Okay. So Collins is going to punt here as it's a continuation. Pittsburgh stopped Cleveland on their second drive for the moment. We'll, we'll put a zero there. Collins to punt from his 49. Back deep. Dudley. Dudley, the lead punt returner. And Matthews. All right, so Pittsburgh holds. Cleveland did not have the same success they did as Graham could not hook up with Lavalley long enough. Lavalley had to come back. They only picked up three yards. So fourth and five. Collins to punt. And now we get the double. So Collins punting from his 49 gets 22. And that's a four on the punt. Four. And we're on the offense 49, which is what we are at. 53 yard punt fielded by Dudley. So a 53 yard punt. Make it 52. 10, 20, 30, 40. It is in the end zone. It's going to be a touchback. Pittsburgh will have it first and 10 from their 20. It is their second drive coming up. They are down 7 nothing. Pittsburgh down 7 nothing. Second drive in the four-drive challenge. I think we're going to see a steady diet of Franco and Hulk right now. So first and 10 from the Pittsburgh 20. Seven nothing. Cleveland scored on their opening drive, culminating with a 14 yard touchdown pass. Otto Graham to Paul Warfield, right corner of the end zone. So on first and 10, they're going to give the ball up the gut to Franco Harris. It's a 41 against a pass defense roll. So a 41 for Franco Harris on an inside run against a horrible defensive call by the Cleveland Blue Die. 41 to Franco is a 24 B index against the pass. Three yards for Franco Harris. Takes it to the 23. And it's going to be second and seven. So second and seven for Pittsburgh from their 23. Pittsburgh down seven nothing. This is their second drive here. They're going to give it to Franco again. They're going to give it to Franco again. And they're going to stay with the inside run. Cleveland in a standard against 24 off the Harris card, and that's a 28. Oh, boy. Cleveland's defense stymieing the Steelers right here. 28. Two-yard loss. They get Franco in the backfield. So it's going to be third and nine. Minus two yards for Franco Harris. Ball goes back to the 21. Pittsburgh in danger of going three and out. Bradshaw's going to have to put it up in the air here. He's going to look for Lynn Swan. So Bradshaw's going to go to Swan. On third and nine. Short pass to Swan. 
Cleveland's playing the pass. They get a good blue die roll. It's a 41 off the Bradshaw card. Bradshaw, it's a 16. It's going to be incomplete, most likely. Short pass. It's not a bad roll, but it's a good defensive roll for Cleveland. And the short pass to Swan on a 16. It does bump to an A. It's one yard. They only get a yard completion to Swan as Bradshaw checks down to Swan. He was looking downfield. Swan comes back to help. Bradshaw was under duress. That's going to make it fourth and eight from the 22 of Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh is done most likely with their second drive. That will bring out the punter for the Steelers. And that's going to be Joe Jerry. So Jerry to punt from his 21. Pruitt and Kelly will be back. So Kelly is the second punt returner. Pruitt had a good punt return of 26 yards last time. Can he do it again? But uh, Cleveland could not take advantage of a good field position. Jerry to punt. From his 22. It's a 31 off the Joe Jerry card on the punt. A 31 is a 19 on the punt. 19 on the punt. And he's punting from the 15 to the 49. So a 19 on the punt. It's going to be a fair catch, 46 yards downfield. Kelly makes the fair catch. Cleveland will take over, and that's, this is going to be their third drive. Very important. If Cleveland can get points on Pittsburgh and stop them on their third drive, it's all over. So 46 yards downfield. We'll make it 48. Let's just back it up too easier to count. 10, 20, 30, 40. Five, six, seven, eight. Fair catch at the 32. So it's a fair catch by Leroy Kelly at the 32. Jim L. Hope all is well. We're back on air as I got booted off air. How are you doing, Jim L.? Good to see someone come back. Hope all is well. All right. So. Cleveland's up 7-0 in our four-drive challenge. Not keeping stats. If Cleveland scores, it's a lot of pressure on Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh will have to score in both their drives. Pittsburgh is stopped. So it's a must continue. No punting on their... Th if Cleveland scores, Pittsburgh will not be punting on drive number three. Good field position for the Browns. Otto Graham back under the helm. But we're going to give it to Jimmy Brown here. It's going to be a steady die to Brown and Kelly as Cleveland tries to put a lot of pressure. Inside run, Jim Brown. Reroll that. That was a leaner. Standard defense, better than the five. It's a 46 for Jim Brown on an inside run. 46, not bueno. That's going to be a 36, so that's going to be a penalty. Inside run, penalty. B index. Inside run. 46. Jimmy Brown is a 36. B index. To nine yards. So Jim Brown picks up nine yards, but there is a flag on the field. And it is a... We're not playing injuries. That's what the J means. We're not playing injuries, though. It's an E-column flag. But Jim Brown possibly picks up 
nine yards. So again, that was first and 10 from the 32 and maybe a plus nine. We don't know yet. The penalty is on the E column. All right, so let's roll and add these two die. It's a 10. A 10 on the E column. Medium pass chart. Six. Holding on the defense. So it's five yards. We could go second and one or first and five. We're going to take Jim Brown's nine yards and go second and one. I know that's unorthodox, but by golly, that's what we're going to do. So they got to get to the, again, this yard marker is a little short here. They got to get to the 42 now. So it's second and one. We took the nine yards for Jimmy Brown, and Jimmy Brown's going to get the call again. Inside run. It's a 31 Standard defense for Pittsburgh, 31 for Jim Brown on an inside run. Second and one, 31 is a 16. Great call on our part. Oh, a 16 is a good roll no matter what. And they're playing the standard. It's a B index on a 16. Inside run, eight yards for Jim Brown. Ground and pound with Jimmy Brown. So Jim Brown picks up eight yards. That's going to be four, five, six, seven, eight to the 49 of Cleveland, first and 10. So Jim Brown picks up eight. So we went second and one. Thirty-two picked up nine. I took another forty-one. Then he picks up eight. So it's gonna be first and ten from the forty-nine of Cleveland. Cleveland putting a lot of pressure on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jim L., I don't know what's going on with YouTube tonight. Keeps bumping my people out of the chat, knocking me off, but I'm glad you're back. Cutter Historicals here. Check out that wonderful channel and Brian Hoxie. YouTube is being fickle. YouTube doesn't want me to shine. All right, second, uh, first and 10. Uh, Cleveland. We'll go to Leroy Kelly, inside run. Keep it on the ground. Pittsburgh playing the run. That's a huge roll for the Steelers. That's a 52 off the Kelly card. Uh, 52 is a 27. He's going to get stuffed. They're playing the run 27. He might even fumble it. No, he's going to lose a yard. Kelly loses a yard. And it's going to be second and 11. So Kelly loses a yard. Second and 11 from the 48. Pittsburgh has to hold strong here. Second and 11. They'll go back to Jim Brown outside run this time. Try to make it a shorter third down conversion. And who knows, maybe Brown goes coast to coast like Space Ghost. Outside run, Jim Brown. It's a 13 against the pass. Pittsburgh was hedging their bet. They're playing pass. So that's a 13 to Jim Brown, but it's a 32. We know that's going to be a flag. On an outside run, B index. And they're playing the pass, though. So a 13 is a 32. Actually, it's not. No flags. He picks up three yards. Jim Brown picks up three yards. They go to the Pittsburgh 49. 
And it's going to be third and eight. Third and eight from the Pittsburgh 49. Otto Graham's going to have to chuck up the pigskin here. Graham will go to Ozzy Newsom. Newsom's an A. Receiver. And it's going to be short pass. Looking for doubles on third and nine. Pittsburgh in a standard. It's a 53 off the Graham card, but it will bump to an A on the short pass. Fifty-three twenty-nine. I already know it's not good. In fact, it might be very bad. Twenty-nine. Otto Graham is sacked. Five-yard loss. Pittsburgh defense comes up huge. Takes it back to the forty-four. So minus four. That's a sack. Mean Joe Green with the sack of Otto Graham. Fourth and 12. So Pittsburgh's defense holds. Giving them a chance when they come up with their third drive. But again, a penalty could change everything here. Blue Jays win, say our, says our good friend Cutter Historical. Gary Collins to punt. Back deep for Pittsburgh. Dudley the lead punt returner. And Matthews the second punt returner. Collins needs a big punt here. 23 for Gary Collins. A 23 on the punt is a 12. And then be punting from the middle column. 12. 38 yards fielded by Matthews. So we have 38 yards. And actually, let's bring it back. Fourth and 12. Let's bring it back. One, two, make it 40. Five, 10, 15, 20. I messed that up. Where the hell was he? 45. What was the punt? It's 23. to 12 38 yard punt 38 yard punt so 10 20 30 5 6 7 8 from the 18 From the 18 comes Matthews, 14 on the return is a 23, and this is a third drive for Pittsburgh, so here's the return. It is a punt return of a 23. It's only two yards. Takes it to the 20. Ron McGrath, how you doing? YouTube is really strange tonight. So this is a third drive for the Steelers. They need to score here. And then it's tied, and we go to that final drive. So first and 10 for Pittsburgh. From their 20.
Bradshaw's going to try to shake it up a bit. Bradshaw's going to shake it up a bit. He's going to go. He, he, we're taking it. Pittsburgh's taking a risk. Deep pass to Lynn Swan. Needs doubles. He gets doubles on the deep pass, but unbelievable. Unbelievable. So Bradshaw gets the doubles, but Cleveland's blue die rolls a pass, but it's a deep pass to Swan on doubles. 33. 33 is a five on a deep pass to Lynn Swan. B index. Oh my God. Incomplete. Batted away by the free safety of Cleveland. Coming over to help out on the post pattern. Unbelievable. Had it not been a five for the D roll, for the D defense, it would have been, if it was standard 37 yards, if it was a four, it would have been 56 yards, but it incomplete. What a play. Holy cow. What a bad break for the Steelers. And a great play made by the free safety, Tom Darden. Steelers fans groan. Wow. So it's going to be second and 10 from the 20. Maybe that loosens up the Cleveland defense, though. Oh, my God. You get the doubles, and that's what happens. RJL Networks joined us. That I thought we were going to have a big play there. Unbelievable. All right. So it's second and 10. I don't think we can risk another long pass. They got to get something here. Second and 10. We're going to go outside run to Dick Hoke. Outside run, Dick Hoke. Cleveland looking for the pass. Hoke rolls a 25. A 25 is a 14. Uh, is an 18 that might not be bad against the pass and it's an outside run so they usually can he turn the corner it's a B index 18 8 yards for Dick Hoke that's going to be 3rd and 2 so Dick Hoke picks up 8 yards it's going to be 3rd and 2 on the outside run by Dick Hoke Third and two. Pittsburgh down. Seven nothing. And they have this drive and one more. Cleveland scored, went right down on their first drive and scored. Graham, 14 yard touchdown toss to Paul Warfield, back right corner of the end zone. So third and two. They're going to give it to Franco. Got to try to go for the sure thing here. Franco inside run. You don't want to go outside here. More of a chance of losing yards. Inside run, Franco Harris on third and two. This is huge for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Inside run to Franco. Cleveland looking for the play action pass. They hedge their bet. They're playing a standard. And that's a 42 on the Harris card. 42 is a 19 against the standard inside run B index. Two yards, first down. Franco gets it, keeps the legs churning. Pittsburgh drive stays alive. They get to their 30, so two yards by Franco Harris. First and 10, Franco Harris. First and 10 from the 30 now for the Steelers. So that Hulk run proved effective, and then you just give it to Franco. So first and 10. Terry Bradshaw is going to go short pass, short pass to John Stallworth on first and 10. My name is Mud is joined. He says, let's go Cleveland. Cleveland's up 7-0, Mud. Short pass to John Stallworth. Cleveland playing the standard with that blue die of a 2. It's a 43. Bradshaw's card of 43 is a 34. That's not bueno. That's going to be a penalty. 
And it's a short pass, but who's the penalty going to be on? That's the question. Thirty-four. They're playing standard. It bumps to an A. Sack. Bradshaw's hit. It is a fumble, but it is recovered seven yards behind the line of scrimmage by the 08. The 08 on a hustle play is Bradshaw. Bradshaw recovers the fumble, so he's able to fall under it. And under the pile, Bradshaw recovers the fumble. He is sacked, though. The sack will go to, let's give it to the high sack man for Cleveland. Uh, well, glass is 11. We're going to give it to glass. So glass gets the sack, but Bradshaw recovers his own fumble. It's a loss of eight, and that is not bueno. That's going to take it to the 22 of Pittsburgh. Big play by the Cleveland defense. Minus eight sack. It's going to be second and 18 from the Pittsburgh 22. So second and 18 from the Pittsburgh 22. What does Bradshaw do here? It's going to throw. Actually, you know what? They're going to run a little delay to... Little delayed handoff to Franco Harris and hope this pops for something. Inside run to Franco on second and eighteen. Pittsburgh playing uh, Cleveland playing standard. It's a thirty-two off the Harris card. A thirty-two. Fifteen. Uh, oh no. Twenty-six on the standard. Inside run. Two yards for Frank. Uh, I'm incorrect. One yard for Franco Harris because it's a B index. So Franco only gets one yard. They're not fooled by the draw. That's going to bring up a third and 17. Cleveland shutting out the Steelers. And the Steelers could go. Another offer on their third drive with only one drive coming up. So third and 17 from the 21, uh, 23, excuse me. You got to throw the ball in the air now. No, these boards, I got them on eBay. I like these boards. I only play basic, so I like these simple boards. Yeah, on eBay, if you pick up an old set from like 95 or if you pick up one, because this was from the 96 set, I think, actually. Let me look on the bottom here. Does it say uh, 95 or 96? Copyright 90, 93 and 95. So I think it was the 96 game. You got like eight playoff teams. I bought it sealed from eBay. Well, they're going to go uh, Lin Swan, medium pass. They need to pick up 18. It's going to be tough here for Pittsburgh. Then the defense will have to hold again. So we have a third and 18 medium pass to Swan. It's a B, It's an A index because he's an A receiver. Standard defense for Cleveland. It's a 45 off the Bradshaw card. I'll tell you right now, 45 is a nine. Holy cow, that's a nine. I don't know if it's going to get it done, but that's a nine. It could be a completion here. Medium pass against a standard A. On a nine. Ten yards, not enough. They're going to be eight yards short. Actually, seven yards short, excuse me, so they pick up 10 yards. 
So where were we? We were at the 23. It's 2, 7, 8, 9, 10-yard completion. Takes it to the 33. So fourth and seven. And now Pittsburgh will punt. And they're going to have, if Cleveland puts up any points on their fourth drive, it is over. It is over. So Pittsburgh has to hold them. Cleveland, all they need is a field goal, and this game's over in the far drive challenge. That will bring out the punter, Joseph Joe Jerry. He's got to pin Cleveland back. The punt returners for the Browns. Again, we were we didn't do substitutions because we just didn't. Pruitt is the number one punt returner. Leroy Kelly, the number two punt returner. We might come back at a later date, and play the backups, which could be fun. We got, they're all great players. It doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Last drive for the Browns. They're up 7-0. The punt by Joe Jerry is a 32. A 32 off the Jerry card under the K column is a 23. So a 23, and they're punting 15 to their offensive 49. Uh, so it's the middle column, 23. Not a good punt at all. Only 33 yards fielded by Leroy Kelly. So 33 yards. Uh, let's make it 31. We'll move it up to the 35. So we'll count 31 from there. 10, 20, 30, right here. So there's your punt to the 34. And again, the yard markers are yard short. <laughs> 34, does Kelly want to return it or fair catch? You know what? Leroy Kelly is a great player. He's going to try to return it here. Doubles, 55. That might have just salted the game away. 55 for Leroy Kelly on the return is off the K column. It's an 11 on the punt return. An 11 is not as great as I thought. Eight yards, not bad. Eight yards. So that's eight yards. Okay. And then that's uh, that's six to the 40, seven, eight to the 42, to the 42 yard line of the Browns. Browns now have it first and 10 on their 42. All they need is a field goal, and this game is over. It's all they need. It's a four drive challenge. Pittsburgh must stop them. And you can see what I'm talking about. You see, there's the 42, and we only get to there. It should be there, right? The 48. All right, here we go. Otto Graham, you know who they're giving it to. They're giving it to Jimmy Brown. Pittsburgh, first and 10. They need a, a great blue die roll of a four here. Inside run, Jim Brown. They're playing the standard against Jim Brown's card. Yeah, that's a 36 for Jimmy. A 36 for Jim Brown is a 25. He's probably going to pick up one or two yards on the inside run against a standard defense. B index. Both defenses are outstanding. So that is a B index 25. No yards. Jim Brown is stuffed. The steel curtain come down upon him crashing that so they try to go inside uh but it's lc greenwood mean joe green and jack lambert 
Coming in later is Ernie Stotner and Dwight White. So they just swarm Jim Brown down. It's second and 10. Second and 10. From the Cleveland 42. Cleveland doesn't want to do anything stupid here. They're going to go outside run to Jimmy Brown. Brown rolls, doubles. He's looking for his revenge. That's a 22. Though Pittsburgh was keying Brown there. They're playing the run with the blue four the way I played. So a 22 for Jimmy Brown is a four. Oh, my Lord. I think Jim Brown's still going to pop for something good here. And that's an outside run, a power sweep, old school of football here by the Browns. And it's a B index against the run. It's a four. No, you know what? Lucky they rolled. <laughs> Lucky they rolled that four. It's only four yards. So Andy Russell pulls him down from behind. Excellent lateral pursuit by the linebacking core of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Four yards. And that's going to make it third and six. So they take it to the 46 on the plus four. Third and six from the 46. We've used Jim Brown two times in a row. Can't go back to him. That's just the way I play it. Where's Leroy Kelly? Oh, you know what we do with Leroy? We put him over here. Gonna go Ozzy Newsom. Otto Graham to Ozzy Newsom. Short pass on third and six. Pittsburgh in a standard. Graham with a 23 31. That's gonna be a penalty. Short pass. This could be a huge play call here. So again, the 23 is a 31, bumps it to an A. They're playing standard. Caught for two yards, flag on the play, though, and it's going to be off the H column. So a possible two yards here to Newsom. It's a penalty on the H column. We roll these two dice and add them. That's a two. On the H column is going to be a 16. So the two on the H column is a 16. Intentional grounding. Well, it can't be intentional grounding. How can it be intentional grounding? Well, the penalty takes precedence, I would think. So again... Intentional grounding, loss of down, minus 10 yards. So the penalty would take precedence. So like the two yards never happens. So it's 10 yards back. Intentional grounding, it would be fourth and 16 from the 36. So a penalty of intentional grounding. Pittsburgh holds. They need to score a touchdown to tie. There'll be no punting now for Pittsburgh. They've got to get in to force overtime. Collins to punt. Tense moments here. Dudley. And Matthews back, Dudley the lead punt returner. Final drive coming up. Collins with a 23. 
23 off the K columns of 12. All right, 23 off the K column, and we're punting 15 to the 49 is a 12. 38 yards fielded by Dudley. So it's 38 yards. Let's make it 39. Just push it back. It's easier to count. 10, 20, 30, here, 9. To the 26. And Dudley looking for doubles. Dudley rolls doubles. Dudley with a 55 is a 4. Let's see what that does on the punt return. It is a 4. Holy cow, Dudley breaks it off. 54 yards for Dudley. Let's make sure we did that right. It's a 55. It is a 4. Yeah, because he would go off his kick. It doesn't say not to go off his kick, Colin. So that is a four, 54 yards for Dudley. We'll just make it 55. It just makes it so much easier. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 to the 20-yard line. Did I mess that up? He was at the 26. Back it up there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That was a 55 because we backed it up one. Yeah. To the 20. Holy cow. He almost goes coast to coast. Pittsburgh. Boy, did they need that. Their offense. First time their offense will start actually first time Pittsburgh has the ball in Cleveland territory. Thanks to the 54 yard punt return by William McGarvey, Bill Dudley out of Virginia date of birth, December, Christmas Eve, December 24th. I would assume that's 1921. Holy cow, so Pittsburgh could possibly take this to OT drives. What a huge return by Dudley. Rock and roller. Rocker roller. How you doing? Hope all is well. Seven nothing Cleveland. Seven nothing Cleveland. Four drive challenge. This is Pittsburgh's fourth drive. Uh, Cleveland scored on their opening drive. They marched right down. Excellent running by Brown and Leroy Kelly. A couple of passes completed by Otto Graham, but culminating in a 14-yard touchdown pass right corner of the end zone. Otto Graham to Paul Warfield. Extra point by Lou Groza was good. Wow. So Brett, now they have to score. There's no kicking field goals. No, they need to score and make the extra point. Wouldn't it be funny if they score and Jarella misses? <laughs> So on first and 10, they're going to go outside run to Franco Harris. You got four downs to move the chains. Outside run to Franco. Franco looking for doubles. Oh, wow. Cleveland gets a horrible blue die roll. If you're just joining us, I didn't use this chart because I wanted some offense. And you can see how good the defenses are anyway. They're B indexes. And if you don't get the great rolls. The, so I use the blue die. And one, two, three is standard. Your standard defense. Four is G, means means you play the run. Five, six is a D, means you play the pass. It's worked out well. Maybe next time we will try this. I played a little bit. These teams are so good. You're not going to move the ball with this. At least I couldn't when I was playing offline yesterday. Of course, I didn't have the best rolls either. All right, we have an outside run, Franco Harris. It is a 24 against the pass defense. So a 24 for Franco, bad roll. 28, that sucks. 28 for Franco B index and but we're now we're between the defense 10 and 30 and it's a 23 uh, 24 excuse me is a 28 
28. Franco loses four yards. Horrific roll. Minus four for Franco. Brings it back to the 24. That's going to be second and 14. So it was first and 10 on the 20. Franco loses four on the sweep. Excellent lateral pursuit by the Cleveland Browns. Bringing gang tackling Harris in the backfield. So that's going to be second and 14 from the 24. Now, this is that was huge because you were trying to get something there so you could have a lot of play calls. Second and 14. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see. I think we have a running back who is an A receiver. We got John Henry John. I mean, we could have used any of these guys. We might do another game with just the backups. Um, now. Second and 14. Three downs to get 14 yards. Counter play. Dick Hulk. Inside run. Standard defense for the Browns. It's a 35 off the Hulk card. 35 on the inside run is an 35. It's a 16. That is a good, good roll. 15, 16, uh, 14, 15, 16, sometimes even a 17 is a good roll, and they're playing standard, and that was a counter to Hulk on an inside run B index. And we are between the 10 and 30 of the defense. That's a 16. Eight yards on the counter by Dickie Hulk. It's going to be third and six. A huge run by Dick Hulk. So he picks up eight. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. To the 16. All right, so now it's third and six. Picked up eight. They're at the 16. Two downs to get six yards. Two downs to get six yards here to continue this drive. They got to score and kick the extra point to tie to force an extra... Drive, 7 nothing Cleveland. Third and six, inside run to Franco. Inside run to Franco. Standard defense, as it's a 1-2-3, it's a 2. That's a 32 for Franco. I don't know. 26. Oh, my Lord. What the hell would that have been if we passed? Out of curiosity. Not good, so it didn't matter. It would have been bad. <laughs> it would have been very bad. So a 32 is a 26 inside run B index between the 30 and the 10 of the defense. Twenty six. 
Franco picks up one yard. Takes it to the 15. Fourth and five. This is the ball game right here. Fourth and five. I, I can't chance a run, I don't think. We're going to go short pass to Lynn Swan. So short pass to Lynn Swan on fourth and five. What will the defensive blue die say? It's a run. Unbelievable. Now can they do something here? 25 off the Bradshaw card. 25 is a nine against a run defense. Holy cow. And it bumps to an A index because you can see Lynn Swan. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but Lynn Swan is an A. You see the A-7. I mean, if you're playing, you should only throw to him seven times during a game. Or so you can get seven receptions or something like that if you're playing solo. I don't know. I just throw to guys who I want. So it is a nine. Bradshaw might have it. This is going to be a clutch hookup, I think. All right. So that is a 25. P column is a nine. Single digits are usually good. Short pass against a run, and it bumps to an A. And we are between the 10 and the 30 of the defense. So a short pass, nine, 11 yards right there. First down. What a fourth down conversion. Bradshaw to Swan, 11 yards. It's going to be first and goal from the four. Cleveland fans grown first and goal. We don't even have to uh, from the four. Holy cow. Brad shot a swan for 11 yards over the middle. Swan took a big pop, held on to the pigskin. And now what do you do here? What do you do here? Bradshaw's going to go play action fake. Look for the tight end. Val Valerio Richard Val Genasanti, I think, as he's an old school player. He's out of Villanova, Villanova Duquesne. You can't go deep to Swan from the four. You can only go short pass. How you doing, Trav? Short pass, play action fake from the four, looking for the touchdown. Cleveland playing standard. It's a 16. 16 for Bradshaw is a 17. We should have ran the damn ball. A 17. It does bump to an A, though, and it's goal line. 17. Income. No, it's a standard. My faux pas. It's a one-yard gain. So Bradshaw looking in the end zone. Everyone's covered. He checks down to the tight end, who's immediately gang-tackled by the linebacking core and strong safety of the Cleveland Browns. Second and goal from the three. Uh, from the four, excuse me. No, from the three. From the three. They pick up one. Second and goal. Tense moments. Cleveland trying to hold on to a 7-0 victory. They're going to give it inside run to Franco. They're going to give it to Franco. Inside run. Second and goal from the three. Franco. Cleveland gets the good roll of a four. They're playing the run. It's a 42 off the Harris card. 42 is a 19. Inside run. I don't think Harris is plowing it in from there. A 19 B index. He does pick up a yard. Franco picks up a yard. They're at the two. Third and goal from the two. Cleveland holding. Third and goal from the two.
They're going to give it to Franco again. Inside run. Again, Cleveland gets the four. They're playing the run. It's a 15. 15 is a 16. B index. Touchdown, Franco Harris. Let me make sure I got that. 15 is a 16. Franco Harris plows in. He would have been five yards, but Franco plows in from two yards out. Unbelievable. The huge fourth down conversion. On fourth and five, keeps hope and the drive alive. And now that was a Bradshaw to Swan. Made it first and goal from the four, and Franco Harris pounds it in on his second consecutive carry from two yards out. Touchdown. Harris to yard run. Pittsburgh. This is the huge extra point now. Roy Jarella for the tie <laughs> to send it to the fifth drive for each team. And then if no one, if they score or no one scores, you go to sudden death drive. We will roll and we'll go odd even, whoever gets the ball first. Unbelievable. Imagine Jarella misses this. It's a 36 on the extra point. It's a 19. It's good. I don't even have to look. I know a 19 on the extra point is good, and we're knotted at 7. And I will show you that in a moment. Once Here we go. So the extra point, 19, is good. We're not at seven. We go to sudden death. Well, that's sudden death. Each team gets a drive and then sudden death drive. And we'll roll to see who gets it first. So unbelievable. We go to drive five. Cleveland awaits the kick. And it'll be Jarella to kick off. As Trav says, yes, Franco. And we're kicking off from the 30. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, it's got split into two videos because YouTube booted me off the air. Back deep. And it all started with that huge punt return. What was it? Matthews. Remember, he had 54 yard punt return, put him at the 20. Uh, was it Matthews or Dudley? It was um, Dudley, excuse me. I think it was Dudley. Whoever, it was 54 yards. So Pruitt, the lead kick, uh, kick returner. And Leroy Kelly. The kickoff by Jarella. Is a 53. Uh, 53 is a 35. That's going to be a penalty, I think. 35 on the kickoff. Uh, 59 yards. 55 yards, excuse me, to the Greg Pruitt. He's the 09. What's the asterisk mean? If penalty is kick out about... Okay, so... Let, let's, okay, so it's going to go 55 yards, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Short kick to the 15. We're going to see what Pruitt does here, and then it might not even matter because it could be, like, say, out of bounds, and this doesn't happen. Pruitt rolls a 56. It's a 20 on the K column. 20-yard return, so he takes it to the 35, possibly. Actually, let's just leave it 
where was that, the 15, right? Let's just leave it here for now. And I'm just going to mark that he has a plus 20 on the return. But we have a penalty. So now let's see what the penalty is. It's on the L column. You add these together, that's a 7. On the L is a 17. Kicked out of bounds. Spot of the ball, 30 yards ahead of line where receiving team puts the ball in play. Kicked out of bounds. Spot ball, 30 yards ahead of line. So if they kicked off from the 30 and it goes out of bounds and it says here, Spot ball 30 yards ahead of line where receiving team puts. So Cleveland's going to have great field position here. So 10, 20, 30. They have it at the 40. I, I believe I interpreted that correctly. So 10, 20, 30. Yeah. They have it at their 40. So the kick out of bounds is horrific. Cleveland starts first and 10 at their 40. They get the ball to midfield to first down. And again, you can see the new marker. So I put that on the 40. You can see it's a yard short, thus causing – I should just use the old marker. But we'll just hedge it up to the 50. All right, this is overtime drives. If it's tied after our one overtime drive for each team, we go to sudden death drive. All right, so Leroy Kelly goes to the backfield over here. And I think we're going to bring in, we're going to go big backfield. Marion Motley, double fullback. Motley, oh, they have the receiving. Oh, I want to use Jones too. Use Motley and Jones, get him ready. They're going to go big backfield. And they're going to give it to the fresh legs of Marion Motley. Kelly goes to the bench just for a moment. We'll just put him under here. So Marion Motley is going to get the carry. Fresh legs of Marion Motley, a bruising back. Also played linebacker. First and 10 inside run, Marion Motley. Marion Motley! An 11! Pittsburgh was playing the run, though. And that's going to be a four on an inside run. Oh, wow. So Pittsburgh was looking for Motley. It's a B index. Marion Motley is between the 15 and the defense is 31. It's a four. You know what, though? He picks up 10 yards. So Motley dragging Steelers. Moves the chains, Marion Motley, and they had the defense roll of a four. You can just see him bludgeoning through Pittsburgh defenders, a bruising 238 pound, six foot one, all purpose football player out of Nevada, takes the ball to midfield, the fresh legs of Marion Motley, first and 10 from midfield. Four. The Browns, and now they're going to go with Jimmy Brown. They're going to continue to attack that middle. So Marion Motley, now they go inside run to Jim Brown, and Jim Brown rolls a 44 against a horrific blue die roll of a 5. Jimmy Brown, 44, 15. Fifteen. Jim Brown, and they're playing the pass, picks up 19 yards before he's dragged down by the free safety. 19 yards for Jimmy Brown.
takes them to the Pittsburgh 29, first and 10. Thirty-one, excuse me. Pittsburgh thirty-one. Unbelievable. They're at the Pittsburgh thirty-one. Motley will get the handoff now. They're just going big backs. Wearing down this Pittsburgh defense. Two bludgeoning backs. Here's Marion Motley on the inside run. Uh oh. I, th I saw the one, but that's a standard defense against a 61 Motley, and that's going to be a 25 against a standard on an inside run, and we're still between the 15 and the 31 of the defense. 15, our offense is 15, they're 31 by just because we're at the 31. So again, that is a 61 for Marion Motley. They're going to swarm Motley this time, 25 against a standard on the B. No gain. And I'll be second and 10. Second and 10 from the 31. Pittsburgh defense stiffening. So second and 10. Coming into the backfield is William Augustus Dub Jones. And we're going to go short pass. Actually, we're going to go to medium pass to Dub Jones out of the backfield. He's an A receiver. So he's going to try to sneak out of the backfield against the linebackers. Oh, it's a leaner reroll. but they have the pass. They're playing the pass. Medium pass to Jones. 33 on Otto Graham is a double, but that blue die roll of a six is huge if you're a Pittsburgh fan. So a 33 is a five. He's going to complete this, I think. It bumps to the A. He's still on the 31-yard line. It bumps to the A. It's a five on a medium pass, and they're playing the pass. It's still 20. 54 yards out of bounds. Unbelievable. Otto Graham on the move as Dub Jones crossing all the way across the field. Graham scrambling that way, lofts it up over the defenders, hits Dub Jones 24 yards down the sidelines. He's pushed out of bounds. It will be a first down for Cleveland. 24 yards from the 31 takes it to the third uh, to the seven first and goal the fresh legs of marion motley and now dub jones jones goes off the field first and goal from the seven They're going to go big backs, Motley and Brown, and they're going to go counter with Marion Motley, hoping that Pittsburgh is keying Jimmy Brown. Inside run, Marion Motley. Snake eyes! He's punching it in because that's a, that was a five. He's punching it in. Snake eyes, that's a four. Inside run. There you have a horrific D, and it's a four against the touchdown. Seven yards. It's eight yards. Touchdown. Marion Motley breaks the plane of the goal line as he plows in on the counter. They went a little uh, play action fake counter pitch to Marion Motley. It was a short, quick pitch. Motley. It's more like a trap, goes right up the gut, cuts to his left, barrels over the final would-be defender into the end zone. So Motley scores from seven yards out. 
We await the Groza extra point. That's a 54. A 54 off the Groza card is a 19. The kick is good. I don't even have to look. I know a 19 is good. So Cleveland, who has not scored since their first drive, march right downfield thanks to the fresh legs of Motley and Dub Jones. A little Jimmy Brown mixed in there. It's now 14-7. to Cleveland. Pittsburgh must score to force sudden death drive. Wow. What a game. Grows it a kickoff from the 30. Unbelievable. Oh, let's get our, uh, so Groz is kicking off. We got the card there. And the K.A. Or the T.A., excuse me, is Dudley. He's the first kick returner. Matthews is the second kick returner. And I guess we'll put Groz's card right here. Pittsburgh has to score again, just like they did on their final drive, their fourth and final drive. It's a 56 off the Groza card. 56 is a 7. A 7 on the kickoff. Let's take a quick look on that. A 7 is 64 yards. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 4. Takes it to the six. The return man is the 09, so it's going to be Dudley. Bill Dudley, can he rip off a huge run here? Dudley wants a 66. Gets a 23 off the K column. A 23 is a 20. On the kick return, 20 yards. So that takes it out to where they're on the six. So that takes it out to the 26 yard line. Good return by Dudley. Pittsburgh must score to force sudden death drive. Again, this should be at the 36 for the first down. All right. Here we go. It's a defensive struggle. And then Pittsburgh scores, Cleveland scores. Now Pittsburgh has to score again. I forgot to mark the seven-yard touchdown. So touchdown, Motley. It's kind of funny how that worked out. We haven't used them all game. We just say, hey, fresh legs, right? Seven yards. Cleveland. And the kick was good. So it's now 14 to 7. What can Pittsburgh do here? They have all day. They don't have to rush it. But you know what? I'm feeling it. They're going deep to Lynn Swan. Play action fake over the top to Lynn Swan out of USC. Ah, oh, they're playing the pass. And we missed doubles. It's a 43. A 43 is a 34. That's a penalty. And it might be a reception on top of it. So it's a deep pass on a 34. It bumps to an A. Thirty-four, unbelievable, unbelievable, un. You know what though? Wow. It's caught. 
for 68 yards. Swan fumbles. Cleveland recovers. Football game over. But let's go. So he's on the 68 yard. He's that's not a touchdown. That is not it had it had it had he broke the plane, the fumble would not have counted. So unbelievable. Let's just double check. So we have an A receiver, play action fake. Bradshaw with a 43 is a 34. It bumps to an A. And we're between. Between our 15 yard line and our 49 yard line. They're, they had the, the five, so they're playing the pass. It's a D. And then we it bumps to the A. So under the D column, we go to a 34. 68 yards. 68 yards. And then he fumbles. So let's just do the math. Let's make it 69, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And we said it went, we backed it up one. 65, 66. So he's there. He, he fumbles on the six trying to break the tackle and get in the end zone. Lynn Swan is stripped of the football. The D8 recovers it. And this football game is over. So the D8 is the, is the left cornerback. So he chases Swan down, punches the ball out, He's going to fall on it, so we have to go eight. So it's, we just basically count eight cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don Paul saves the day, tackling Lynn Swan, punching, well, punching the ball out from behind, chasing him down, and recovering the fumble. That's how the football game ends. How heart-wrenching if you're a Steelers fan. So Don Paul recovers the Lynn Swan fumble. Cleveland wins 14-7 to in drive overtime. And we will double, we will triple check that one last time. So again, it was a 34 bumps to the A. They were playing the pass. So it's a D. Yeah. See that? 68 yards. The F means he fumbles. The D8 means Don Paul recovers. Actually, had they been playing the standard, had they been playing the standard defense, it would have been 66 yards, fumble, but... Uh, I do believe the 010 would have been Stallworth recovering the uh, fumble. But the off. So, wow, that blue die roll of a five wins the game for the Cleveland Browns. Unbelievable. The Browns win 14 to seven, and that was a lot of fun. We had to do it in two settings because YouTube went nuts and, booed, you know, my, my stream went down. Wow. So, Lynn Swan, unbelievable, 68-yard reception, fumbles, Don Paul recovers for Browns. Game over. Cleveland. Cleveland wins 14 to 7. 
and fifth drive overtime. What a wild ending. Unbelievable. How cool was that? All right. So that was fun. Unfortunately, we did it in two settings. Um, again, YouTube went haywire, but that was wild. That is a really fun finish. And this is Apple football and I enjoy it. And we'll do more four drive challenges. If you'd like to see it, it's a way you can get a sort of a full game in, in a reasonable amount of time. So thank you very much. I'd like to thank Trav, uh, rock or er, rocker roller, Ron McGrath. My name is mud, Jim L Cutter Historical, RJL Network, and Brian Hoxie. And for those who were here earlier, I'd like to thank them too. So, unbelievable. 68 yards to Lynn Swan. And then he uh, he fumbles. He gets hit by Don Paul, who strips him of the ball, and Paul falls on it. There's a struggle between Swan and Paul, but Paul comes away with the pigskin. Cleveland is victorious in OT. It was a fifth drive, so that was an overtime drive. Cleveland scored with Marion Motley from seven yards out, the fresh legs of Motley. And so the turning point is when we went to the fresh legs of Motley and Jones off the bench. And that was a lot of fun. It was weird how it happened. You just say fresh legs, and they had big rolls and big plays. Jim Brown had a touchdown or uh, big runs earlier on. So this is the scoring, folks. Uh, first drive for Cleveland. They got the ball first. Great rushing by Brown. Down the field, Kelly pitches in two with some runs. Um, but then it culminates with a 14-yard touchdown pass right back right back end of the end zone. Uh, Otto Graham to Paul Warfield. No one scores. We go to the very last drive for Pittsburgh. They have to score to force overtime, and they have to make the extra point, which isn't a sure thing with Roy Jarella. On third and what was it? Third and eleven. No, fourth and five, excuse me. Fourth and five. Bradshaw hit Swan for eleven. I believe it was two plays later. Franco Harris pounds it in from two yards out. Kick is good. We're not at seven. Cleveland on their overtime drive, overtime drive five, as we stated. The fresh legs of Marion Motley, and then you had Jimmy Brown. They pounded the ball. Motley had some big runs. Jim Brown had a big run. But there was that huge reception by Dub Jones. I didn't write it down. I wish I did, but I think it was a 24-yard reception. And that brought them uh, first and goal from the seven. After that, you give it to Marion Motley on a counter. It was like a counter pitch, and he cut back through the trap hole, and boom. He was in like Flynn. Kick was good. 14-7. Pittsburgh had their opportunity. Big pass. Over the top to Lynn Swan. 68 yards. I know I keep stating it, but he Don Paul forces the fumble as he catches him. The uh, wrestling match is won by Paul. The pigskin goes to Cleveland, and so does the win. So thank you very much. Thank you for spending your time with me. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people the way you'll be treated. Un-freaking believable. What a game. If you enjoyed the stream, smack that like button. If you have not subscribed and you wish to do so, that would be great. If you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification when we go live. Check out all the other wonderful content creators in our community. Become a member of the FOC, friends of the channel, friends of the community. It's easy. You subscribe to my channel. You subscribe to their channel. Share sub like me. Share sub like them. And come back and have fun. Greatly appreciate everyone's time. We had the hiccup with YouTube, so we had to do this in two settings. Uh, we can probably go quicker. I just stopped writing things down. We're trying to, I like to do these four drive challenges an hour and a half. Hour would be awesome, but I talk to the chat and I call the game in my mind the way I see it. So, again, thank you very much for your time. Greatly appreciate it. God bless. See you soon. Peace.